Hello friends, this video on comparing quantities part 13 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now that we saw, uh, we took the same example where uh, Sheila had deposited rupees 15,000 for two years at the rate of interest of 5% per annum and we calculated both simple interest and compound interest and we found that there was a difference between the amount that she was receiving in both the cases. So here we will do, so let us look at a clear cut comparison of the two. So we will look at it year by year. So here uh, Sheila did this deposit for two years. So let us first look at the first year. So in the first year, the principal amount, principal was rupees 15,000, the rate of interest was 5% and the time period is one year because we are just considering the first year. So in that case, when we calculate the interest PRT by 100, we get the interest as rupees 750. So how much amount will she get back at the end of one year? It would be rupees 15,750 because principal plus interest is your amount. Now what happens in case of compound interest? So in case of compound interest in the first year again your principal remains the same. Rate of interest is also the same and the time period is also one year. So in this case also your interest is rupees 750 and the amount that you get at the end of first year is rupees 15,750. So it is the same. Now, the difference comes only when we step into the second year. Now, in the second year, what is the principal amount in this case, in case of simple interest? It is still rupees 15,000. The rate of interest is still 5% and the time period again is one year because again, we are just considering the second year, which is a year. So in this case, your interest is again rupees 750. So what is the total amount that she will get back at the end of two years? So at the end of one year, she would have got 15,750. Now at the end of second year, again, rupees 750 interest will get added. So 750 interest. So therefore, the total amount that she will get back is rupees 16,500. This is the total money that she will get at the end of two years. Okay. Now what happens in compound interest? Now in compound interest for the second year, your principal amount is no more 15,000. Rather the principal amount is 15,750 because now in the second year, you will also get interest on the interest of the previous year. Perfect. So therefore, your rate of interest, however, is still 5% and your time period is again one year. But this time when you calculate the interest, that is rupees 787.50. Again, by, by similar process, PRT by 100. So this is the interest that you get at the end of second year. So how much total amount do you get at the end of second year? So the amount that was accumulated for the first year was 15,750 plus the interest of the second year which is 787.50. So this altogether became rupees 16,537.50. Now if you compare the two amounts, so in this case you were getting 16,500, here you were getting 16,537. So basically there is a difference of 37 rupees 50 paise. So now here we have taken very small numbers, therefore the difference is also small. But when you deal with bigger numbers, when your principal amount is in, is instead of 15,000, if it is 15 lakhs or 15 crores, then the difference between the two is also a lot more. So in this fashion, we see that simple interest and compound interest, they are slightly different from each other. In fact, they are quite different from each other. In compound interest, you get more interest because you are actually getting interest on the interest of the previous year also. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.